Hey, welcome to this tutorial today. What I'm going to show you is how to make some pretty smooth blending. Um, the acceleration is a little, a little slow, so that's why he slid a little bit. But as you can see, um, I'm using Mixmo animations for these, so they're not super high quality, but they still work pretty well. Um, but as you can see, he blends properly. He'll turn, you know, and so forth. Um, but it looks good. Looks like something you might see in like a double A game. Um, there's no jump. But yeah, so I'm going to show you how to do that, so let's get into it. So one thing to keep in mind here is you can use Mixamo and public assets, but you will want to have high quality assets um, that are tailored for this type of animation in Unreal. So what you put in is what you're going to get out for the most part. Um, but before we start, I've imported the left strafe, right strafe, walking backwards, um, and, and idle. Now one thing to keep in mind about the turning is when you turn, you want an animation that will have the torso facing forward and the legs sideways. Okay, same with the arms. Um, and, it, and I'll show you in a second when we get into the blend space why that is. But another thing is ideally you would probably want to have 45 and 90 degree angles for these. So in, in a 45 degree angle, you can tell your animator this, or if you have a pack or something. The legs would probably be more like this, and the torso would be more this way. Um, this is a 90 degree turn, so the legs are going to be uh, directly horizontal, and the torso is going to be slightly turned. Um, but in a 45, you'd probably want it to be more like this, and then the torso more uh, that way. Like I said, these are from XML. Their stuff is, eh, it's all right, but it'll do for the tutorial. Um, so the other thing I have is I have a walking backwards, and since this will be left and right based, we'll have animations for that. Um, I made a, I mirrored in Mixamo. I got a walking back left, which looks like this. His head's facing that way, and then I also got a walking back right. Okay, his head's facing that way. Um, and so that's what that looks like. Uh, I also got just a standard walk. So those are the assets you're going to need for basic locomotion, which is what we're going to go over here. Um, like I said, you can add in 45 degree, 90 degree, whatever degree you want. Um, and just keep in mind with the turning that the body is facing this way and the legs are facing that way. That's very important. Okay, so the next thing I did was I created an animation blueprint. If you don't know how to do that, you can just go to animation, animation blueprint. Okay, now this is a super basic one. Um, in the anim graph or the outposes, I just put the blend space that we're going to make in just a second directly into there. I'm going to show you how these direction and speed work as well um, when we get into that. But uh, that's all I did. Ideally, in your own project, you would have this in a state machine. So I just put it here because it's a tutorial. Um, the second thing that you want to do is I would go ahead and get this set up. Is you would want to uh, make two variables, two floats. Um, by default, they'll be empty, so don't worry about that. You'll have a speed and a direction. Okay, all the speed is is you're getting try get pawn owner, get velocity, vector length that turn the velocity into a float, and then plugging that into speed. And you'll do this on the blueprint update animation event inside the animation blueprint. Um, don't worry, you don't need to really. It's not important all these names and stuff. Uh, just copy this, and then for the direction we're doing what's called a calculate direction node um, that takes the character velocity which again we got from try get pawn owner so we got the velocity and we plug that in and then for the base rotation we get actor rotation and then we plug that into direction I am gonna zoom out here so you can see and I'll pause it for just a second here while you can copy this alright so assuming you've already paused it and you're ready to move on to the next part um, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the blend space. If you don't know how to make a blend space, what you want to do is you want to right click in the content browser, go to animation, and choose blend space. If you're in Unreal 4, I believe they have blend space 1D or 2D, and then blend space 3D. This will be called blend space 3D in Unreal Engine 5. They just renamed it to blend space. Um, so in, the, in, in your case, it'll be blend space 3D if you're in Unreal 4. Okay, so we have that in. So we've opened this up, and we'll, the first thing we need to do is we need to go to the settings. So by default, there's going to be an axis settings. Okay, we're going to have horizontal axis and vertical axis. By default, this will be 0 and 100, and then for vertical, it'll also be 0 and 100, I believe. Um, for the character, for the speed, you're going to want to put the max walk speed of your character. 
um, or whatever that relates to running and walking and stuff like that. In my case, I, I believe the max walk speed I set for my character is 300. Um, the grid divisions will be how many different assets you can place for blending. Um, I recommend four for zero to 300 or two could probably work. Um, maybe three, but if you have like high speeds, like in my game, I have like 13,000 speed. Um, you probably want to have like eight, eight or 10 or something. Um, just play around with that. For the direction, you're going to want to have negative 100 to 100. Um, you can also do negative 180 to 180, and that'll be a full 360 turn. Um, I would do that if you're using control rotation yaw or the use control de controller desired rotation where the guy always faces forward and then the animations move. I would do negative 180 to 180 and then I would divide the grid by 4 to 6. Um, in this case I'm doing 4 because we have the normal walking and then at 45 degrees or 50 degrees we're going to put the strafe and then at 90 to 100 degrees we're going to put the backwards. Um, so you'll adjust those based on the speed and animation types you're using. So if you have 45 degree, that'll probably go at 45, and then if you have 90, that'll be a 90, and then backwards will probably be like 145 to 180. Um, and remember, it goes negative 180 to 180, or so forth, whatever values you want. In this case, I'm using negative 100 to 100. Okay, and then the other thing that's going to help you out is turn on snap to grid. If you don't do that, the little keyframes here will be all over the place and it won't be accurate. So just click snap to grid. Um, another very, very important thing is you enable the smoothing time. By default, this is going to be zero. And what it's going to look like here, I'll show you. In Because in the beginning, I showed you what it looks like. So the smoothing time is not going to be as good. Um, so you want to add smoothing in there. I have found that roughly 1.0 is good for both. Um, you can do higher, you can do lower, etc. There's also a couple different um, animation types for interpolation that you can use. I would stick with spring dampener, but you can also try ease in or something like that. Um, so now that we have the settings set up, okay, is um, what we're going to do is we are going to set up the type of blend spaces. So I'll go ahead and delete all these so we can start fresh. Um, Give me a second here. Okay, so by default you'll be at zero speed. So this is just idle. So we'll put a, an idle in there. I got one called breathing idle. Okay. And you probably can put like step turning, idle turning right here if you want. Um, I don't have that. And I don't know if that'll necessarily work, but you could definitely try it. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the walk in there. So and in my case, because I'm because I'm driving it forward always, I want to put the left strafe on the right side on the positive. But if you're using control rotation yaw, where the character's always the back is always facing the camera, then you could possibly put right over here or just adjust it how you feel needed. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and place these in here. I'm gonna put left strafe, left strafe. And the reason I'm not putting it on here is because I wanted to have some blending time. Um, if we put it right here, it would blend instantly, so I want it to have some blending time. Okay, and then I'm going to put right straight over here. Don't worry about that for right now. There we go. It'll fix itself. That red thing was just saying there's not enough blending um, animations. Okay, so now I'm going to put blending right. And remember, right is on the left, and uh, left is on the right. It's kind of weird, but that's how it is. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go and then I just need walk backwards left and then I want a walking normal okay. there we go so now that we have that I told you earlier I'd show you how to, the direction and speed works that's what these are um, these names are input parameters on the blend space node so if we go to the AnimVP YBOT and we go to the Anim graph, if you if you have if you typed these in properly, you will see that here and here. Okay. And now if you remember, I had you pause the screen so you could type in this code here. Um, and you're just going to plug those into the respective inputs. And the final thing we need to do is we need to go to our third-person character or the character you're using this on. 
And for this tutorial, I'm using Orient Rotation to Movement. So that's set to on. Um, and by default, this is going to be at about 500 or something. I found that like 320 works best. This is going to control how fast or slow he rotates around. Um, so just keep that in mind. The, fast, the higher this value is, the faster he's going to rotate, the slower it is, the longer it's going to take him to do a full 360 rotation. Okay. Um, if you use controller desired rotation, you might need to adjust the blend space. Uh, but in this case, I'm using orient rotation and movement. Okay, and that's basically it. Um, there's one other thing I want to do is I want to go to acceleration. I want to put this at like 1200. Okay, and then also make sure the max walk speed um, fits your fits your top up here. I had 300, but 200 would work fine. Um, so now, now we've got good blending. So yeah, and remember the rotation rate affects that. So. That's how you make it. Um, hope you like this. Thanks for watching.